Hey guys and girls, it's Mark, Truth Seeker over at the Mars Anomaly Research Channel. And uh, I had a couple things, a uh, couple really cool images in Soul 181. Just, you know, blatant, just cover ups. You know, they're, they're trying to make rocks, um, you know, like uh, basically CGI rocks to cover up uh, artifacts. I mean, to me, it just looks like an open, like, graveyard or. or I mean, it's just, it's, I'm, I'm almost speechless again. It's its just, you know, to me it's amazing, you know, if uh, you got to, you know, look underneath some of this stuff. And, uh, you know, I use some of the sharpening tool and um, some of the burn tool to, to get under these rocks a little better, just to show you, uh, you know, this you know, just the, the censorship and the cover-up that's going on. Um, two things I wanted to get to real quick. Uh, Will from What's Up in the Sky 37. Um, he's uh, Go over and check out his website, What's Up in the Sky. Uh, he's going to be on a radio show. Um, and, uh, you know, he's going to show some, talk about some of our images and some of the stuff that's been found. And, uh, I mean, I think it's great that, uh, you know, he's going to be on, uh, it's a pretty important radio show. And second is this YouTube update. Uh, if you have Google TV, um, like most of us do, we buy these expensive, you know, smart TVs. And, uh, you know, I got a 65-inch smart TV that's basically useless now. Um, you know, this YouTube, this last update, uh, you can't, I can't get high definition on there anymore. I can't watch my YouTube videos in high def. Uh, closed caption is just locked on. Every time I shut it off, it comes back on. Um, I can't, you can't get all your subscriptions. Uh, most of them have disappeared. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just a horrible update. I mean, it's, please, YouTube, I beg of you, please do something or, you know, let us use the old YouTube. Because, you know, I got uh, a TV that I paid over $2,000 for. That's basically useless right now. And I bought the TV so I could watch YouTube on it. That was my main, uh, you know, my main interest. But let's get to the image. Enough of that. All right, this is Curiosity Left Mast Cam uh, one, uh, 1081. Um, it's just a beautiful image. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff. And as always, I'll give you the link. Um, you know, and down in the comments, you know, let me know what you find, um, you know, and what this, you know, kind of means to you, and, uh, you know, share this stuff, give me a thumbs up, you know, I put a lot of hard work into this, um, so I'd appreciate a thumbs up, and, uh, you know, a share, and, uh, you know, tell your friends to subscribe. Okay, here's the image in Photoshop, I enlarged it, um, played around a little bit with the, uh, brightness and contrast and um, I went to vibrance and I bring that down just a hair and uh, I hit sharpen once that's it and uh, I used the sharpening tool on a couple little areas and um, what else did I do the uh, burn brush on a couple areas to show you a little little bit clearer of what's underneath these rocks because you know, the average person is coming and looking at this image of just about this. And they're not seeing that this area here was manipulated. Um, you know, this area here. They're not seeing that. This area here, which is basically impossible for them to see unless they take time out of their life to do what I'm doing or watch my videos. All right, so let's get in here. I'm going to start zooming in. And, uh, you know. We'll go over this little area by little area. As usual, you know, I always hear from people, uh, you missed this, look at this, look, and that's great, man. I love going to the comment section and seeing you guys, you know, back and forth with each other. Oh, I found this, look at this. That's, you know, what I do this for. So that you guys can share this. You know, the truth needs to be told. And that's it. I mean, it's just, it's just nonsense. I mean, it's just idiotic bullshit that NASA's pulling and what they're getting away with. You know, I have uh, a 
couple images that are clear cut. There are shadows underneath. There's a statue raised up. Um, you know, a gravestone. Uh, you know, if you watch my, uh, I think it's two videos back, the top ten. I mean, these are real things. I mean, they're not just, hey, maybe it could be. This is what it is. It's there. Somebody made it. You know, just like this piece. Look at this. It looks like a statue that just fell over. It almost looks like something, something Egyptian, you know. There's the base. Comes up. It looks like it just fell over and it's leaning on this rock here. areas here's a perfect example look at this little statue see how they came in here with a blur right down here you see that it's got a little ear coming off you see the shadow of it That's a rock. I mean, come on. All right, here's here's one of the examples I wanted to show you. See this perfect black? See this block they put in here? See what's behind it? You can see the two eyes, part of the head. See these statues? See that? It just came in. See this area here? All blurred. The whole thing. They came in here and worked this. I mean, this area is just riddled. Riddled with artifacts. I mean, I believe they're driving through a graveyard. Or some type of sacred site. Then you come over to this piece. Okay. Look at the shape of this block. All right. Now there's a shadow right here in the center. Now you can see they came in and they removed part of the image. Okay. This is all manipulated here. There's a piece hanging over the side here, another piece, and then off the back here. It almost looks like a dragon's head. See that? I was able to use the sharpening tool to get some of it. See, but look at the artifact that's left of what they removed. Those are not compression marks. There's an art. This is an artifact from an, a part of the image that was removed. See, it was hanging off the back here. They came in and they removed this. See the shadow? You can see all the weird. I mean, look at this, it's just weird. I mean, it's, you know, they're really manipulating some of this. Like here, you could see what's underneath it. They come in, anything you see, like with this color. See how they're filling this in? These objects. Here they did it again. See how they're filling it in? You could see almost the artifacts of them doing it. Blur, blur.
strange rock. It's like in a V form. A little, uh, looks like almost like a ball on top of it. And this was another heavily manipulated area. shape of this stuff. And that piece there. It's actually got different color onto it. I, mean, I don't know how rocks in nature would just form to make look at this little V. There's a ball. See how they make it all one color? See all of this? This is all manipulation. Look at this statue. There's the head. You can see the shadow right underneath it. See the shadow? And there's the leg coming down. It's hunched over. That's the head of it. And you see the shadow right underneath it. over it's just hanging in the air and there's a shadow right underneath it it's another piece that they manipulated and when you train your eyes to notice this stuff it just automatically just pops out at you you know it's they're just covering it it's just I don't know. I just don't know how they get away with this. I mean, lately there's been a lot of stuff, you know, in the news about Mars. I mean, basically, I think the thing that CNN did, basically they were making fun of us. I mean, that's the way I kind of felt about some of it. Here's another part. I came in and sharpened these up. What they did is they covered these up to make them look like rocks. But look what's underneath it. Look at the angle on this piece. Look at this. See what's underneath it? I mean, these are intricately carved pieces. I mean, from what I've seen, do I believe that they were a very sophisticated and advanced society? I, I I really don't have much proof of that yet. You know, I mean, I haven't found laptops and uh, you know transporters, ray guns, but uh, from what I've seen so far, you know, it looks like it was a basic, you know, basic society. They had enough uh, wherewithal to bury their loved ones, make grave markers. Now here's another area. How it comes, there's a little, I mean, it looks like all little balls, little, little beads. There's more of them. And a little opening. And you come over to this piece, look at how they just filled this in. He's coming up, it looks like it's got a little bar sticking out of it. See how they came cut? Look at the cuts on this and the angles. Look at these angles and cuts. Rectangles. And I used the sharpening tool just to bring it out a little. See how they just came in and just. Whenever they do anything trying to remove it, they're leaving somewhat of an artifact underneath. And I don't mean artifact as if there was a vase. I mean artifact as a computer artifact. See this area here? See how they just came in? And they just cover it up. Perfect square right across. See? 
This is they just came in and just filled this right in. And you could see where they came in. You could see underneath it. Bring it up to the top. See how they feather the edge? See how it comes down? This artifact here. Yes. See this looks like a little statue. See how it comes down into it? See how they feather the edges? But you don't notice it unless you're doing what I'm doing. And, you know, with the other uh, researchers, though, you know, we zoom in and really get into these images. And then you start to see. Like here, look. Look at how they come across. Perfect line. See how they cover this? This is what should be on CNN. And the statue that I found with uh, a shadow underneath it and the gravestone. That's the stuff I want to see on CNN. Not just because I want my name on there. I really, to tell you the truth, I don't want my name out there. But uh, for the research... And just to have to have NASA answer to it, I I couldn't I wouldn't I couldn't be any happier to have NASA answer to some of this nonsense. I mean, look at these shapes. They just came in and just totally manipulated these areas. You can see a statue back here. Here they did again. They came in. So yeah, they colored this rock in. You can see right what's underneath it. See what's underneath it? I came in and used the sharpening tool. Maybe a little much, but I re you really need to do that to kind of pull out what's underneath. I mean, if this stuff wasn't underneath there, you wouldn't be able to pull it out with the burn tool or even sharpening. I mean, I've tried it on just my regular images. What's not there is not there. And I'm not adding this stuff. And that I swear on my father that uh, I would never do that to any image, add anything. What's there is there. And I'll do the best I can to show it to you. And I did again. They just came in. This saw is littered with artifacts. Wow, what a beautiful thing. That's beautiful. It just came right across again. Look at the angles on it. This is, this is really cool. Look at this, how it comes down. There's, I guess it would have to be metal, some sort of metal. And that thing just standing right up there. This go down. You always can use your pause button, you know, and just really just look over and see what you could find. When you start to see these lines, you know that there's there's good stuff in that area. That's one thing to look for. Look at the colors in this area. Looks like a little statue head there. A little monument. at this soul. I got it. I really like it. Under that cool thing. There's another piece.
you see how they removed it. And the line on that standing straight up. piece right next to it. See this little statue right next to it? And they came in and just blurred right all over here. Look at this little statue. Okay. And be the pedestal or leg it's on. And a little shadow underneath it. When you do what NASA's doing, they're making it all this one bland color. It's taking a lot of the shadows out. So you're not getting a 3D effect. That's why everything looks flat. It looks just 2D. And the carvings in this thing. Piece coming right up. And then the blur box right there. This rock looks like it's got a bunch of carvings in it. There's another good example. See how they came in and colored? This is not a rock. There was absolutely no texture to it at all. I mean, it looks like somebody would have had to sit there and polish this thing. You can see the line here comes across where it ended. Right there. See this line? See? You can almost see what's underneath it. Just coming straight up, just hanging in the air there on, on like an arm. Here's a cool statue head. There's the eye. There's part of the head. See the ear? The mouth comes down. base and the more that they blurred out in front of it. Oh yeah, you can see how it when you start to burn it look. It's got some type of crown or something that comes it's on the head and it comes back down. You see the ear, the eye socket, the mouth, the jaw. You ain't doing that. that they uh, came in and blurred. Right in this area.
look at some of this stuff and yeah, who knows how old these statues can be. Look at the head on this thing, it comes down, look at it. Look at the base, you see the shadows. I mean, how do rocks form things like this? Come on, look at the mouth, the eyes. If one rock out of a thousand looked like that, you'd say, ah. <laughs> but, I mean, the area is just riddled with artifacts. I mean, look at this piece comes up. Cross. Look at these strange pieces. Look at the X cross the uh, carved into this rock. Oh, this looks like a steel rod. See how they try to cover this up? This is a perfect example of the fake, uh, you yeah, know, what they're doing. Look at the blur in this. Look at this. It looks like a steel, maybe a steel rod, just bent. How do you explain this piece? I may have sharpened it just a little, but it, it was the only way I can get this to come out. Look at this. Look at these perfectly spaced. Yes. Looks like two weird eyes. Something on its head, maybe. Man, it, it's just... Wow. <laughs> I love this stuff. Thank God I was born when I was born and I'm able to see this stuff. You know, maybe a year from now, two years, three, five years, NASA will come out and say, yeah, you know, we found that there was life up in Mars. We just didn't know how to release it to the public. We didn't know what we were seeing. We were having trouble understanding it. You know, and I, I think most people would understand. But the way they're going about it is just all wrong. I mean, look, you'd be better off not showing any pictures to the public. I think it's come across black here. You could see it's a grouping of maybe a statue area. show this stuff, you, you're just better off not showing anything. Because we're able to, you know, the researchers that do this, we're able to see through some of this, of what they're hiding, and it's pretty incredible. Statues everywhere. And another piece. See how they come in? I sharpened this a little. When they come in, they fill this in, make it look like a rock, but there's actually these artifacts underneath it. This is what the you know, is going on. Just a hard fact. And again, my fellow researchers, Will from What's Up in the Sky 37, uh, of 
course, Mars Anomalies. I mean, the guy's just infamous with what he does. I mean, he's, uh, he's got some skills. And uh, the stuff that he finds, you know, he's got, you know, the hard evidence to back his, uh, to back his shit up. You know, just like, you know, the, the guys that do this with their heart. We got, you know, we got the shit to back it up, you know. I've done almost 300 videos. You know, some of my earlier stuff was pretty crude. But, uh, you know, I was learning. And with the guidance of guys like Will, you know, Chris, uh, Christian from uh, Mars on Mast, you know, watching, like, some of Olympus Skies videos, you know, and then Amazon KC came on after. I like to give her a shout out, Christy. I hope everything's okay. And uh, you know, if you get a chance, pop a video out. We miss you. And if you got the time, you go over to uh, What's Up in the Sky 37. Sign up. The forums are just insane. They're really popping. Uh, the images, you know, from the Mars. Uh, Zoom Club, and uh, they got some really cool stuff up there. Uh, Rami Barlin, uh, yeah, just you know, what this is just—it's a great place to be. It's all in one spot, you know. And I see a lot of channels out there, and a lot of like genres where every you know all these YouTubers all fight with each other and pick on each other. And the one thing I love about this. Anomaly group is, is especially the couple of guys and girls that do it is that everybody you know works together kind of you know there's no you know like if Will puts out a video and uh, you know it's not it, 100% is best you know everybody's not ripping it apart because there's truth in what he's doing and uh, you know just as you know, some of my older stuff was crude, but uh, these other researchers seen what I was, the point I was trying to get across. You know, and then I got, I came across, uh, I came across screencast, excuse me, and uh, I love it. You know, I'm able to show what I want to show, and uh, the quality still holds up. But every day we do something, we learn. Every day that we live, we learn something. If you don't learn something every day or have your eyes open to something new, you know what? You might as well put a pillow over your face. Life is a beautiful thing. I try to live it simply. I try to live it honestly. around myself with good uh, people. I think that's about it. We took a pretty good tour of this image. There's another image in this soul. Uh, there's two or three. Uh, I'm working on I'm going to do another two or three videos on them. I believe it's important. And it's cool just to sit back and, uh, you know, take this journey with me. You know, we may not agree upon everything, but there's definitely one thing that we do have to agree upon is that there was some type of life up on Mars at one time. And uh, our freaking government and NASA, for whatever reason, have a stranglehold on this. And, uh, you know, this, this is our little way of getting the truth out. Uh, so me and the other researchers. Again, I want you to go over to What's Up in the Sky 37. Will Farrar is going to be on uh, a radio show. I. I off the top of my head, I forgot the name of it, but if you go over there, it's I think, I think in about two weeks he's going to be on there, and uh, you know, I think it's a great thing. I think it's a beautiful thing. All right, guys, 34 minutes. Wow, I'm out. I'll see you on the next one.